All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Miss Vicky's, um, it looks like potato chips, right? All right, ke uh, kettle cooked potato chips. So this is a variety pack, normal price, $18.99. It was $5 off, so $13.99 or basically $14 <coughs> for 30 bags. So less than 50 cents a bag, all right? So there's six Miss Vicky's Sea Salt Original Kettle Cooked Potato Chips, six Miss Vicky's Smokehouse Barbecue Flavored uh, Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. Um, this is 1.38 ounce, 1.38 ounce, all right. Six Miss Vicky's Sea Salt and Vinegar Flavored Kettle Chips, uh, 1.38 ounce, wait. Oh, they're 1.38 ounce each. So they're all 1.38 ounce. I don't know why they need to specify like that. And then there's 12 Miss Vicky's Jalapeno Flavored Kettle Cooked Chips. I hope the jalapeno ones are good because I don't know why they put double the amount of that. All right, it's 30 individual bags, <clears throat> 1.38 ounce each. All right, there he said that. Total net weight, 41, point, uh, 41 and a quarter ounce or 2 pounds, 9 and 1 quarter ounce or 1.1 kilogram. Right, they put the UPC code twice on there to make it easier to scan because this box is so big. All right, same stuff here. It says used by September 24th, 2024. Wait, what? You have to eat this in less than a month? <laughs> oh my goodness. I got to eat one bag a day? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> okay, here you go. Nutrition facts. That's not going to happen. A lot of these are either going to go bad or... I don't know. We'll see. They hopefully it will be a lot. It'll still be okay even after the expiration for several months, All right? Nutrition facts: servings per container, serving size, and calories. You can see. So sea salt original one is two ten calories, twelve grams fat, sixteen percent, one point five grams saturated fat, nine percent, hundred twenty five milligrams of sodium, five percent, twenty three grams carbs, eight percent, two grams dietary fiber, seven percent, one gram of sugar, and then. What includes added sugar? There's no added sugar. Three grams of protein, all right? There's 10 milligrams calcium, not even 1%, 0 0.8 milligrams iron, 4%, potassium, 520 milligrams, 10%, and vitamin C, 10%, all right? So the sea salt, all right, vinegar-flavored ones, uh, 200 calories, uh, 11 grams of fat, 15%, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 8%, 240 milligrams of sodium, 10%, 23 grams of carbs, 8%, 2 grams of fiber, 7%, 2 grams sugar, no added sugars, 3 grams of protein, 10 milligrams of calcium, 0%, 0 0.8 milligrams of um, iron, 4%, 490 milligrams potassium, 10%, and 10% of vitamin C. All right, then the barbecue ones. <clears throat> Smokehouse barbecue, 200 calories, 11 grams of fat, 15%, 1.5 grams saturated fat, 8% uh, 8 200 milligrams of sodium, 9%, 23 grams carbs, 8%, 2 grams of fiber, 8%, 3 grams of sugar, which includes 2 grams of add sugar, 4%, 3 grams of protein, there's 20 milligrams of calcium, 0%, 0 0.9 milligrams of iron, 4%, 500 milligrams potassium, 10%, and 10% of vitamin C. All right, the jalapeno ones, 200 calories as well, 11 grams of fat, 15%, 1.5 grams saturated fat, 8%, 8 170 milligrams of sodium, 8%, 23 grams of carbs, 8%, 2 grams of uh, fiber, 7%, 2 grams sugar, no added sugars, 3 grams of protein, 10 milligrams of calcium, not even 1%, 0 0.9 milligrams iron, 4%, 500 milligrams potassium, 10%, and 8% of vitamin C. Right, here are all the ingredients. Let me zoom in a bit here for you guys. Oh, did that just make it darker? Okay, I'll read it, but I zoomed in for you guys. You can fast forward, obviously, if you don't want to hear any of this. All right, the sea salt original kettle cooked potato chips are potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower, corn, and or canola, and then sea salt. Then the sea salt and vinegar flavored kettle cooked chips are potatoes, vegetable oil, which is sunflower, corn, and or canola oil, maltodextrin made from corn, sea salt, vinegar, buttermilk, lactose, sugar, dextrose, yeast extract, and citric acid. And then Miss Vicky's Smokehouse Barbecue ones, uh, potatoes, vegetable oil, which is sunflower, corn, and or canola oil, sugar, dextrose, salt, spices, tomato powder, onion powder, maltodextrin made from corn, natural flavors, lactose, yeast extract, uh, torula yeast, gum, acacia, garlic powder, corn, starch, paprika extracts, malted barley, flour, skim milk, buttermilk, and citric acid. It contains milk ingredients. Oh, the other one, the vinegar one, also contains milk ingredients. And then we got the jalapeno flavored one. There's potatoes, vegetable oil made from sunflower, corn, and or canola oil. Then maltodextrin made from corn, salt dextrose, onion powder, torula yeast, 
uh, spices, whey, paprika, natural flavors, garlic powder, jalapeno pepper powder, and yeast extract. Also contains milk ingredients. Right? The only one that doesn't have milk ingredients are the original sea salt. All right? Then it's made by Frito Lay, guaranteed fresh, smart label, and yeah. So they created this new thing, I guess, to make it look healthier. All right. So they got tape on top. That's going to be annoying to remove. So I'm going to flip it over, and we're just going to open the bottom. Okay? Oreo. Stop. Okay. So here are the bags. They are labeled for individual resale. Okay, sea salt and vinegar, no artificial flavors. You can see the expiration date, 22nd of October, 2024. Then they have extra writing here. Every bag of chips began somewhere, but our, but ours began with some someone. Miss <laughs> Vicky wanted better chips for her family, so the ma so they made them using ingredients fresh from her family farm. In her kitchen, where work was respected, family was loved, and honesty was a must, she spent years getting just the right crunch and flavors to put big, happy smiles on every face in her farmhouse. Today, as more people discover the great taste of our Miss Vicky's chips, her influence keeps growing. There you go. Want to serve Miss Vicky's? Contact, uh, okay. I don't know what that means. Maybe they can sell you, like, bigger bags. So there's that. What we have four flavors, right? So there's the brown one, the red one, and the green one, and the blue one. Okay. So here we got the. I'm assuming this says the same stuff, right? This says the same thing, right? Love our chips. You can give them a call, and then you got the UPC code. Different, obviously, for different ones. I think everything else is pretty much the same, right? different UPC code, obviously the ingredients, we already read all of that, okay, Oreo, stop, and here's that one, okay, so we got jalapeno, barbecue, sea salt, and sea, sea salt vinegar, so we'll try the sea salt one first, open this up, okay, you can pull them apart, opens well, here are the chips, this is what they look like, nice and thick potato chips, mm-hmm, Very nice and crunchy. Potato-y. Honestly, I could use a bit more salt. But not bad. I like it. All right, sea salt vinegar. can smell the sourness a little let's give it a try mm. Mm. these are better the um, sourness makes up for the lack of salt <laughs> okay. let's try I guess let's try the barbecue next. Alright, here's the barbecue. You can see they're very orange. Mmm. Sweet. Mmm. Honestly, reminds me a lot of just the Lay's barbecue sauce flavor. But I like the texture of these chips. They're more crispy. I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison, but the flavor reminds me of that. Okay. Here is the jalapeno ones. They're also a little bit orangey. Um, a little bit spicy. Flavor. Hmm. pretty good it's not like a strong flavor though i don't know if it's just because i ate the barbecue one though here well, i don't know if you can eat that that one's a little spicy the vinegar one has it's, i like the vinegar really one the vinegar. I yeah like i like it hmm. yeah the jalapeno ones are pretty good too hmm. 
not really much else to say about it. Pretty good. Nice thick cut chips. If you like those extra crispy chips, go for it. If you have a weak jaw or something, then you might want to skip it and go with those super thin Frito Lay's like thin potatoes. But um, around that, I think they're pretty good. Um, they're not as salty as I would like, but I guess that's good because then you're not taking in so much sodium. Anyways, I know it's upside down, but <laughs> I opened it upside down because of the tape. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Give them a try. Bye.